when you first start the application, you're greeted by the title, Bird Finder, and this search bar, and a map of Evergreen, Colorado, as well as a table of recent sightings near Evergreen, Colorado. I'm based out of Evergreen, and so that just worked for me to have it as the starting location. Um, but you definitely are able to see uh, different areas. So let's choose a place, uh, El Paso. So I'm from El Paso, so let's see what kind of birds they have. Okay, so we're taking downtown, but I'm, I'm not from downtown El Paso. I'm actually from the west side, so well, looks like there's not too many birds reported there. So let's see. Um, okay, so right here we have sightings of some hummingbirds, some wrens, some mockingbirds. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, let's go to a place like Sydney. Okay, so as you can see, jumps right to Sydney, to Sydney Harbor, and we can see that plenty of bird sightings around here. You're also able, so as you look at the list here on the left-hand side, you're able to see, okay, so I see a magpie lark. Okay, so that was spotted down here. Um, Pacific coal. Okay, cool. And uh, so, you're also able to change how many days back. So seven days is, I mean, it's a reasonable time for a bird sighting, but it's just so much data. So if I go to two days, I can see, okay, in the last two days, these were some areas where there were some good bird sightings. Um, I can also number, uh, limit my results to, let's say, 25. Okay. Cool. So that is the app. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My email address is jcfernan at live, L -I -V -E, dot com. Thank you.